According to the World Economic Forum, the Netherlands is one of the most digitalized countries in the world. And because of this digitalization, it brings many economic opportunities. Our economy is heavily depending on this, but alongside comes cybersecurity risk. To tackle this risk, we need to collaborate. Collaboration is key. Collaboration between businesses, knowledge institutes and government agencies. When it comes to this digitalization, and especially when it comes to the internet, there's no difference between on the one side economic development and on the other side security. It's two sides of the same coin. The internet also doesn't stop at the borders of our countries. Therefore, we need to align on global level and we need to align businesses, governments and knowledge institutes. We need to align the policy makers, the decision makers, but also the techies. We need to involve all stakeholders when it comes to this topic. There's no better place than The Hague to have this discussion. The Hague is international city of peace, justice and security and home base of my organization, The Hague Security Delta. Cybersecurity is an evolving sector. It's high on everyone's agenda. Cybersecurity risks are an increasingly significant threat for business, authorities, institutions and other actors. The evolution of cyber attacks and the governance of cybersecurity is changing. There is already widespread cooperation between law enforcement agencies. However, the legal black holes in many parts of the world still dominate. Often cybersecurity legislation is seen as a national matter. Next to that there are different international initiatives which are or non-binding or seen as a recommendation. Here at TNO we work on innovations to secure a robust digital economy. We welcome international collaboration to combat cybercrime. Yeah, definitely, especially in the age of social media and everybody being online all the time, definitely. Um, I haven't really thought about it, but I think I should be worried, but I don't think I'm always worried in my daily life. No, I don't really think about it, yeah. You know, the basic stuff, you know, like you need to protect your, your information and stuff. But uh, I guess if there's like a big attack, I wouldn't know what to do. Um, so what I recently did is two-factor authentication for everything that I'm on. Um, and aside from that, uh, just always making sure that my security scanner is on and that I have it up to date on my computer. I guess I don't know enough about it. So I guess that's, the, that's maybe the reason there's a big gap because we don't... I never hear anything no, about no. the government. Mm, well, the only recent law that I know about was the GDPR, but aside for security, but aside for that, I'm not really aware of between the law and uh, how it's really used. Yeah. yeah. I think the government has a bit of responsibility because we don't really know how to protect ourselves and we don't really know the specific ways to be aware. So, yeah, I think they have the responsibility. Yeah. <laughs>